Ram grieved for Sita every day, but he put his duty above all else and concentrated on ruling Kosala. After 15 long years, he approached sage Agastya. Welcome Ram, the entire kingdom is happy under your able rule. Guru, the kingdom and the people are happy. But I am not happy. I have killed people in war. I lost my wife and my child. I don't know anything about their whereabouts. Perform Ashwamedha Yatna. Get a white colored horse and worship it on a full moon day and then leave it to wander freely. Many thanks to you Gurudev. I will carry out your instructions. My blessings to you Ram. Lakshmana, I think it is high time we perform the Ashwamedha Yagna. Brother, you always do the right thing for the kingdom. Lakshmana, we have to invite the great sages Vashishta, Jabali, Kashyap and Vamadev. We also have to invite King Sugriv and the monkeys, Jambavan, Vibhishan and his Rakshasa ministers from Lanka and more specially Hanuman. I will carry out all the arrangements for the Yatna, brother. Ram instructed his soldiers to bring a white horse. A white parasol was fixed on its back and the horse was decorated with colorful clothes. Lakshmana, you can set the horse free. Let it wander around anywhere and everywhere. No one should stop it. Give the subjects clear instructions that anyone who stops the horse will be punished severely. All right, brother. Don't worry. No one will dare stop the horse. Sri Ram's beautiful horse entered Valmiki Rishi's ashram when the Rishi was not present. Wow! What a beautiful creature! It has been decorated so grandly. Mm. What is this written on the golden medallion shining on the horse's forehead? Mm. Whoever does not accept Ayodhya's regent as his king should tie this horse and fight with its army. Okay, that's a great challenge. He then grabbed the horse reins firmly and tied them to a nearby tree. Hey kids, are you playing the fool? Release the horse immediately. Why are you holding bows and arrows? Who are you? Why are you talking? You must fight with us. Fight with you? You are mere children. Do you know who I am? You may be a king. Be prepared to face us. Kusha. He is going to throw snake weapons. That's what he will do. But we know how to fight back. Guru Valmiki has taught us everything. Shatrugna and gave command for the Naga Parsha. Kush took a piece of grass and threw it. It swallowed the Naga Parsha and hit Shatrugna on his head. The soldiers ran to Lakshmana. Bharata, what's all the commotion? Go and find out what is happening. Bring the horse back. So, are you going to give the horse back? No. If you need the horse, fight with us and take it. Don't talk like this. With one weapon, I can demolish your whole ashram. Is that so? Fine. Why don't you try and do so? Lakshmana started with the army to bring back the horse. Oh, little one, this is not a game. The one who ties this horse has to fight with us. You are just a child. Set the horse free. We won't harm you. I have tied it knowing what has to be done. This is a Rishi's ashram. Nobody can ruin its freedom. I am ready to fight. Oh, young child. I am immensely impressed by your archery. I am so pleased that I will forgive your attack on my soldiers. 
Now release the horse. Who are you to forgive us? Shatrughna ordered Sugriv and Hanuman to defeat the kids. Both the brothers launched a fierce attack on Ram's army. The whole army started running helter skelter. The boys ran back to their mother Sita. Oh mother, we found a horse today that I tied up. But then lots of men with bows and arrows and a monkey arrived with a big army. They tried hard to frighten us. Mother, do you know what they did? They uprooted a massive tree to show us their strength. But we showed them what we can do. Oh my dear children, this is Hanuman. He is your father's loyalist. Release him. But mother, we only behaved according to our Kshatriya Dharma. Please do what I say. You don't know who they are. Hanuman saw Sita. Mother, am I dreaming? I am proud to have been defeated by my Lord Ram's children. Mother, I never thought I would see you again. Valmiki returned. Sita told Valmiki what had happened and he went in search of the children. Young children, don't play like the fool. This will become very serious. They will not acknowledge any man's power except Ram's. Did you say your father is Ram? Yes, we are his sons. I am Love and this is my brother Kush. Where do you live? We live with our mother Sita here in the forest. Lakshman was now convinced that he was speaking to his brother's sons, the sons of Ram. The twins led Lakshmana to Valmiki. Greetings, Guru. I don't know how to express our gratitude to you for bringing up the royal princess. Lakshmana, I am greatly delighted to see you. You can take them to King Ram. I was waiting for this day. Go with the prize, my sons. Sing glory of Ram, your father. Let the entire world know of his story.